What's up, reefers? It's Mike, Main Reef. Um, just a quick vlog this week. Uh, <clears throat> as you know from the last video, I put up this mirror for the uh, aggressive dolly back, and so far it is working. Um, he's he still darts at the other fish and um, does all that, but his aggression has taken like a step back. Um, the uh, Midnight Lightning Clown, my male, has um, gotten his dark coloration back. He's not so uh, um, spotty like he was. Uh, so that's good. Everything's working in that aspect. Um, but, you know, the last week and a half, two weeks, I think I said it in the last video, just, you know, seasonal sickness in the house has been insane um so i won't get into that but um yeah tank's doing really good um uh coral looks good starting to get uh quite a bit of color coming back into the uh forest fire digi um i've made a couple more frags up here on the rack which I think was in the last video too, but mostly the thing is, is uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna have to uh, start playing with some of the coral over here. Um, the encrusting Monty is getting to the point where I need to cut it back again. I also have a piece of Favia over there that has gone from one polyp to about 40 and it's starting to encroach on the um, one of my SPS over there, so I gotta kelp wash for those back. But um, yeah, nothing really crazy. Uh, got a frag swap this week with my buddy Levi, two hundred seven Nano Reefing. We're gonna go check that out. Second annual one up in Bangor, Maine. We went last year, and we uh, we bought quite a bit of the coral that we have in these tanks. Um, then, which was nice. Um, it's a pretty cool event. It's small, nothing crazy. Um, but it's really cool to go check out, you know, and just see other things than like local fish stores. You know, you can go see like mom and pop vendors, I guess you would say. Um, but yeah. That's something I'm looking forward to this week. I'm probably only going to buy one coral because I can't really justify putting anything else in this tank. I mean, I got maybe one spot I can put something, but um, it's mostly just for the show and, and the raffles and stuff. Um, I am still in the process of getting the 20-gallon set up. I gotta buy some, uh, go to my local hardware store and get some glass, because uh, the top is cut off. It's a 20 long with a rim, and I'm going to, it's de-rimmed now. So I want to do like a Euro brace on it to make sure it's nice and strong, holds the water in there. I don't have any issue. Uh, I've had the tank for probably 15 years. I've used it off and on, so um, I'll definitely use it for the frag system, and I can get this dotty back out of the tank. That's my biggest concern at the moment, just because he's he's being dot a dotty. He's not being nice, and <laughs> he's a bit of a territorial asshole in the tank right now. So, um, other than that. Uh, one of my corals did break off on the, the glue up in the middle, one of my small, that small SPS in the middle. Uh, so it did get, I don't know if you call it like a burn or a sting, but a little bit of the flesh on the tip was, uh, burnt off, so, or stung off, so that guy's a little pissed off at the moment. Everything else is looking great. Um, I will have to frag the Satosa here soon just because it's getting to the point where it's 
creeping over to the glass and my magnet is, I'd say my magnet will be touching it very soon. Um, it's kind of incredible to see that because how, where it started, I mean, it's basically, uh, it's the size of a baseball now, so um, it's got really good growth. The polyps are extended really nicely and the color is amazing. It's also grafted. It's hard to see because um, you got to use like a UV light, but it is grafted, so that's something cool. Um, other than that, uh, the top shelf, I think it's Dr. Something um, or another over here. Hasn't really been doing too much. It's still, you know, alive. Uh, slight polyp extension, nothing crazy. Um, but, yeah, let me... Uh, get you a little closer up uh, video of the coral and um, the lights just came on not long ago I think they've only been on for about a half an hour so not everything is you know opened up but um, oh the uh, the bubble algae is slowly but surely <laughs> getting taken care of. Um, I do have two emeralds in here now, uh, and they've survived, so they're doing, you know, work slowly but surely, and it's getting done. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm getting some good polyp extension on the SPS, uh, good encrusting, good coloring starting up, so can't really be disappointed in that uh, but let me get you guys a little close-up of the um, or closer of the corals and see what we got here Move the, uh, so you can see the mirror still there so the slimer is really it's poking out a new head down there. You can kind of see it coming through. Uh, you guys might be wondering, what's with the random frag plugs? So, those are going to be easy frag spots for the zoanthids. Um, basically, they're going to grow on that, and I'll just take them, rip the plug off, and be golden. Um, little frags of SPS on the sand bed. Those are being carried around by the urchin for a little bit. Um, but yeah, so you can see the Monty. It's a beautiful Monty. The problem is, is it just grows so fast. It's growing into the Slimer. So I got to take care of that. Um, the Garf's looking really good. It's encrusted all the way down. The Organ Tort. That guy right there in the middle, that's the one, it broke off um, on the base, and yeah, this guy right here, got it from my buddy Paul and Bethel, it's starting to really color up like a green base, golden tips, and it's just, it's, it's, it's awesome, so, um, other than that, uh, Zoas look amazing. Finally starting to you know crowd in. Blastos look great. Blastos are absolutely huge. Um, jelly bean, chalice. I wish it had a bit more red on it, but that's as good as I can get. Um, Acans are looking good. Bird's nest looks great. As you can see, the Satosa is almost on the, pretty close to the glass over here. But, uh, yeah, no complaints this week. Um, again, I'm, it's still a work in progress getting that 20 gallon set up, so I'm not really in a rush. Um, I do got to obviously do it, but right now it's, uh, it's kind of on the back burner, especially with everything that was happening, like sickness wise, in the house, so things happen but um if you guys got any questions you know you guys can always hit me up in the comments um if you like the video like comment subscribe all that happy stuff 
Um, I'll try to be shooting some more videos here soon, but you know, life happens sometimes and that's just how it goes. But that's the main reef, guys. Let me know what you think and uh, happy reefing.